you, Jason? Great. How's everything going? Going good. 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 So now that it's official, what kind of role do you envision for the Capazzo? Oh, it's early. Uh, but to answer that question, I just need him to be Capazzo, you know, to be himself um, when he's in, run the team. Um, and I think he's capable of doing that. What do you, made you all decide that adding more ball handling depth to that 15th spot as opposed to leaving it open or having other options is the right way to go? Yeah, I think uh, just looking at uh, trying to get another ball handler in uh, doesn't hurt you. Um, and so um, it was just something that I think we agreed upon uh, looking at the, you know, the roster and something that we needed. And, uh, and his name came up and uh, we were all in agreement that it would be him. Is it something that you guys had in mind throughout the whole summer that that 15th spot might go to a ball handler? Or was that more of a let's see what we have in training camp and evaluate from there kind of deal? Yeah, I think it was to, to wait to see. Um, to have a spot open gives you flexibility. Um, and so I think uh, for that we we used it uh, wisely. We weren't in a rush, um, and then um, they, everyone was in agreement to uh, bring Capazzo in uh, here at the end of training camp. Is the kind of past connection with Luca uh, a nice coincidence, so to speak, help in the transition here, or what can that possibly that relationship uh, mean to this? Yeah, yeah I think it helps. Uh, anytime you know someone or have that relationship, uh, the transition. Uh, makes it a lot easier. Um, uh, it was Capazzo said something that was kind of cool that you know um, he's enjoyed the two days he's been here and he thought Dorian was funny and uh, and was uh, a great teammate and he hadn't even played with him yet. So I, I think that's just you know the guys that we have. Um, and but for a newcomer to say that uh, within 48 hours is pretty cool. How how would you describe his skill set? What he does well and you know, strengths as a player? Yeah, I think uh, you look at the tempo. Um, the ability to pass, to set the table for your scores. Um, and, I, and I think he's going to be able to get some deflections and steals uh, in, in the defensive schemes that we have. So it's going to be interesting to see him out on the floor and, and, the, and the impact that he has. What do you think of the preseason superlatives, Lucas getting, particularly being presumptive front runner for MVP? Yeah, I, I think uh, as long as he is uh, Luca, he's always going to be in the conversation of uh, MVP. Uh, early and often, and uh, I think he's ready, you know, to have that season uh, to to win that. Um, but you look at uh, our schedule; we got to take one game at a time, and we open up tomorrow in Phoenix. So we have our hands, uh, you know, full of uh, you know what everyone will talk about is the last time we were there. But it's a it's a new season, different team, um, and I think they would probably be saying the same thing. You expect a hostile environment tomorrow. Uh, so it's a game opener, yeah. Uh, Phoenix has some good fans uh, there, so they'll be there to support their sons. Uh, so it's a good test for us on the road early. Y'all were able to take the, the three-point guard lineup last year and the three and D, and really, and you went all the way to the conference finals because of that and using that format. This is, feels like a not a completely different kind of team, but it is a lot different. Is this something that you're comfortable with that, that going forward? Is it going to be an improvement over last year would it be what, what do you expect yeah I'm comfortable with the team um, but I think in any professional sports there's never a finished product uh, there's always uh, opportunity to change um, but uh, we're comfortable with this group uh, it's different um, when you look at the preseason we we shot we had a lot of attempts at threes uh, so we'll see how it goes uh, but if we're going to take that many we got to make some um, but it's going to be, I think, uh, a lot of fun um, because guys are playing new roles, uh, and we'll see how they handle that. And if they don't handle it well, we'll, we'll figure out how to put them in a role to be successful. Coach, yeah. I do want to ask you about your former teammate, Bikembe Mutombo, who's undergoing a brain tumor right now. You played with him a couple of seasons in New Jersey. What would you like to say to him as he undergo this treatment? Too? Yeah, you know, it's, I was caught off guard when I saw the headline. I haven't read to the article or, or where he stands, so I can't really speak of what it, the treatment, if you're saying he's going through treatment, you know, our prayers are with him. Um, it just shows that um, athletes are human and uh, can be affected by uh, any disease. And so for him to go through this, uh, you know, we all are praying for him to come out. Um, and he, he's a fighter, so we believe he's going to fight and, and be healthy, uh, you know, after his treatments. What was it like playing with him? Uh, well, it, 
you got blown by a lot because you knew he was behind you. So uh, he was a lot of help uh, defensively, um, but he was funny. Um, he was a, a character. He made you laugh, uh, but he was a competitor. He wanted to win, um, and so it was always great to be around him uh, while he was in Jersey. You mentioned tempo when you're talking about Campazzo. Uh, you guys were last in the league in, in possessions last season. You know, you, regardless of, of what his role is, Campazzo's role is. How much are you thinking about pace? I mean, was the was being last by design, or would you be surprised of that? You know, if you guys repeat that this year. Yeah, I, I would probably bet that we're going to be probably close to that again. Maybe he gets us to 95 instead of 94, <laughs> um, which is improvement, um, and that's faster. Um, so, uh, but. I don't. I don't see us playing uh, much faster uh, with the with the skill set that Luca brings and the uh, and the music that he's listening to. Uh, you know, because his pace is his pace, and and we uh, I thought made a great adjustment to that in the sense of his teammates understanding that we weren't just going to be a run and gun team. Can you point to what happened in the opener last year? Atlanta is like not to put too much emphasis on. The opener. I mean, you, you want to go into it strong, but there was a lot of overreaction, even by some of us. Yeah, it happens. It happens. We won't blame it on you guys. <laughs> you guys have a job to do, uh, but nothing's going to change. It's it's one game, and then if we uh, ended up losing, it's the end of the world. So, um, but I, th I thought you know, for our group, we weren't into. We didn't get caught up into what people were saying about us winning or losing. I, I thought we took each game and focused on the game plan and, and tried to get better each time. It's a marathon, and we know we're not going 82-0 and 16-0 uh, and 16 and 0 like our owner would like. Uh, but it, it, you guys have a job to do, and that's to report um, or give your opinion on, on each game. Um, and, and our job is to play hard and play as a team and find a way to win. And it was, I think, 16 and 17 at one point. It was, it was a slow start. When you reflected on why it was a slow start, do you see those same reasons this season? Do you expect to, you know, avoid those chemistry gelling, you know, whatever else it was? Yeah, we have new pieces. Um, we can't say we have a new uh, new staff. Um, mm -hmm. We have a core that's back, so we all understand what we're asking to do. But there's going to be different lineups out there that um, are, are going to be new. Or you have one new player with four guys, and if one makes a mistake, it doesn't have to be the new player. Uh, it can, you know, it could, you know, be a mistake that leads to an open three. It, it's all correctable. Um, and so for us, uh, again, the season is to, to figure out what we have and put ourselves in a position to make the playoffs and then go from there. Cool. Thank you.